Great chance near Charlie Tango one coming at you. Um, about it's just a very short video. It's just something I made these one of these. Um, I think they call them a kettle and and a griddle uh, stand type thing. Just made of metal. Um, this one here that you're looking at is you put the kettle on that. Um, bear with me because I'm holding the camera by hand. I've got a metal rod here um, and. You can have this kettle at whatever level you want. Um, I was just knocking around doing stuff. And um, this is a griddle. I thought I'd do a griddle as well. I mean, you can have this kettle up here if you want and put it up there. It's not a problem. You know, um, and there's a griddle down there. It's moving around now. Um, it's big enough to hold a steak on this, that and the other. I mean, they want a lot of money for these little things. Um, but I've made this out of um, stainless steel. Um, and, yeah, you can do it. It's very hard to bend cold. Um, I've used stainless steel because you use mild steel. You've got to paint it because you know what's going to happen. It's just going to rust up, isn't it? So, um, that's what I've done. Um, these they, they slide up. You just put them up here like this. Uh, then you can you can get this one if you want. Where are we? Let's get that up there as well. Slide that up there also. You know. So you know. Um, yeah. And the little thing. I've done that. Done a little. Um, bend these. I've had to heat them up to bend them. Uh, same with the other one, where is it? Down here. So um, that's um, that's what you have to do uh, to get these to, um, to bend round like, you know, so you just do it with a blow lamp and um, what you need to do is just get a piece of the, the rod that you're going to put it on, this this stuff. Um, that, that's 5mm I think it is. Be a little bit bendy but the time just push further in the ground it'll be fine, you know, to put over the fire. Um, it's fairly lightweight, but if, if you go to heavier stuff, a lot of them use um, something like about half inch steel or something, you know, and it starts getting a little bit heavy there, you know. Um, so all that that um, rebar, well, that is every old gear. But um, if you uh, heat, heat heat these things up here, um, what you do is you cut a piece off here about three or four inches, um, and you can shove that in the vice. And then when you um, heat up the heat up this end, heat up the end about three inches of it. Um, hit it on the anvil and flatten it out a bit, about three inches long. And then get the little short piece of metal clamped in the vice. Um, and what you do is you you get hold of what the short end with a pair of pliers or uh, mole grips or something, and you just bend it round that right round that piece of metal there, and um, and away you go, just do it at an angle so it worms over it. Um, but you know, it does, does me fine. I mean, I don't use mine on open fires much anyway. Um, but I just thought I'd have a go at making one of these because when I see the price of them, I thought they are a bit expensive, aren't they? You know, so I thought, you know, uh, what with the lockdown and everything, you get a bit boring now. I've done this, done that, and worn the shirt and put it in the dobe, bought it back out and worn it again. So there you go. That's that's my my little um my little makeshift one. These things are just a uh, this here is really just a, a cake stand for cooling your cakes on. Um, it's only it's only what uh, where are we? Uh, twice that length. That's all it is. That's about I don't know five inches. So they're only ten inches long. Those cake stands. I just cut it like that and smoothed off the little bits. Um, got some of the, more of this wire, um, well steel, 
Um, you can get that in B&Q or Harbour Freight or I don't know um, Walmart's where, wherever you uh, wherever you might get your stuff from or local steel steel company. Um, but they've usually got a minimum order. And I I just bent I just bent these. I bent I bent it from here round there bent and bend bend and then down there taped it off and I brazed it. I put four four braze brazes on it and. Um, that seems to have held it, but you can get a steak on there, no problem at all, or whatever you want to put on there, a chop or or something. So um, that's that's what my little idea was, and uh, well, there you go. I hope you like it, but um, you might want to use a thicker metal. Um, this I, I know this looks a bit bowed. It's because I put it in the I haven't put it in the ground straight. That's all it is, but that's that's where it would be normally, like that. You know, so um, there we go. Without further ado, I'll leave it at that and um, let, let me know what you think of it. Um, as I say, I probably won't use it, but it just gives me something to make. As you, as you can see, oh, let's just pan this round. You can see all, all the bloody things I seem to keep in here. It's unbelievable. All my pots, um, all my burners and everything, the camping stuff at the back there. Um, and well, it's never ending, isn't it? I mean, where do you stop? <laughs> Chili's up there. I've got four chili lamps up there. You know, well, you can only use one. Well, you use more than that if you want. Anyway, I'm not going to rub it on. Let me just come back round here, and um, I'll catch you again on the on the next one. Cheers.